Let's go everyone a very warm welcome to this video series on Go programming language and in this video we are going to talk about one of the extremely interesting topic of Go programming language which is slices in Go. You know I will recommend you to understand slices properly in Go because this is something you are going to use almost all the time. So let's go ahead start and see what are slices in Go. So as you can see, I have created a main function and I'm calling a function called go slices. Okay. And in this function, I have written the code to explain the slices. Let's go ahead and see. So the very first code is how to create slices in go. Syntax wise, it's very similar to arrays. How do you create arrays in go? The only difference is while creating array, we provide size of an array. But while creating slices, we do not provide any size. You can see over here is that I have created a slice with int type and empty array, which means there is no size in it. So if you are wondering about why we don't provide, you know, size in slice, because that's a slice, you will understand it in some time. And I can initialize the slice the same way I initialize array. I can create another slice and I can initialize the same. So let's go ahead and, you know, run the code and print the, you know, slice. So if you go ahead and print it, it should be printing one and two. Yes, it is there. One and two is being printed. Now I can also convert this slice as an array. I can say two here and two here. The output will be same and this is now an array. And if I don't provide a size, this is a slice, okay? So this is how we create slices without a specific number of elements. Okay. So let me delete this and we will go ahead in the code. Now we will talk about another difference between slices and arrays. So the first difference we have seen that the way we create slices and arrays in slice, we do not give the size. Okay. The second difference is that length used to be part of the type in go arrays that is not there with slices okay so if you are not comfortable about it see my previous video on this series where i have explained arrays in go so in go programming language arrays types are not only int float or string the size you provide as an array it's a type so in here, you can see that I have created an array of size three and I am passing one, two, three in it. And I have created a new array also of size three and I can assign array to new array. What will happen? Let's go ahead and print it. Ideally, in this case, new array will have a copy of array. But if I change the size of it to, you can see there is a red line over here. In Go programming language, array size it's part of the type. It has to be of same type to be able to assign properly. Okay. So this is good with arrays if and only if we take care of length also along with type. Okay. Now let's try to do the same thing with slices and you might have guessed by now in slices this thing will work. Okay. So here is my slice. In here I have created a slice with four elements okay in here i have created an empty slice and i can copy slice one to slice two let's go ahead and print this you will see one two three four new slice okay even if i change it say five six seven eight doesn't matter it is going to be assigned because for slices the length is not part of the type this is very important to understand and remember also so now we know how to go ahead and create slices okay so now let's go ahead and understand oops, how to iterate through slices okay okay now this is important because slices as well as arrays contains multiple elements and if you have multiple elements you need to iterate through it okay so how to iterate through it while loop for loop well, you can use them, but these are old school. In Go, we are being provided with something called range. We can use range to iterate it very efficiently and easily. So here is what we will do. I have created a slice called slice three and I'm using range. Okay. So I am saying for index and value in range slice three, 
I will print index and value. So let me go ahead and run the code. You will see that I will print index and values. Print it. Yes. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and value 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. Now we can also use old school for loop like you know for CTR colon equal to 0 semicolon CTR is less than LEN. LEN is a built in function of slice 3 semicolon CTR plus plus and in here I can just use the same for loop and say that print uh, index as CTR and value as slice 3 CTR okay and let me just uh, you know comment this particular line for a while and we should get the same output and I'm surprised to get an error okay I have to make it available because you know it will complain if i and v are not being used we will see that let it duplicate right now and we will see the output come on i don't know why my pc is slow okay you can see this twice okay now let's get rid of this particular for loop now you know that in go if i am declaring some variable i have to use it otherwise it will complain so in here with range, I get two things, index and value, i and v. But what if I just want to use value? I do not want to use index. Okay. You know, I will get an error because it will say uh, i is not used. But we cannot remove i from this particular for loop. It's a syntax. So what we can do, we can say underscore. Underscore means I'm not taking it in a variable and it's okay. So in here, I can just go ahead and print value. Okay. Similar thing can be done with I and instead of V, we can say underscore. And in here, if we say I, we can go ahead and use the for loop. Okay. So this will not provide an error. So whenever you are using range, you want to use both I and V index and value you can use. If not, you have to use underscore. Okay. So now you know how to iterate through slices let's move ahead okay let's now talk about some technical details of slices and believe me this is extremely important okay and how it is different from array why you should go ahead and use it so i have created a slice called slice 4 okay it has four elements 1 2 3 4 and i am printing length of slice 4 len and capacity of slice 4 there are two things in each slice and arrays length and capacity so let's go ahead and print it for a while okay or let me put return over here and let's go ahead and see what it prints length is 4 capacity is 4 now if i convert this slice into an array you will get the same output okay you can just try it right now you can even create 6 array and length and capacity will be printed as 6 now till now it's fine okay now you understood there are two things length and capacity but in case of you know slices unlike arrays we can append additional element that's the reason we don't give a predefined size we can append additional elements in slices so slices can grow in runtime just like vectors if you are coming from languages like c plus plus and java okay so in here i am appending the uh, slice 4 with a new value called 5 and after appending let's try to see what is the length and capacity what do you think what will be the length and capacity length looks like 5 because there are 5 element but what about capacity okay let's go ahead and see I'll put return over here let's go ahead and see earlier the length of slice was 4 capacity was 4 but then I added fifth element. Then the length is 5, which is right. But the capacity increased twice. It is now 8. Okay. So this must give you a hint what is happening inside slices. Okay. If it gets more data, which is going beyond its capacity, what happens? We'll talk in detail about that. But let's see something else also. 
in slices using append function we can append multiple elements also so in this particular case i can append three more elements six seven eight okay and after that let's see what happens to the capacity and length what will be length eight what will be capacity again eight because capacity became eight as soon as i added five it is still eight because still the total length is eight now what i am doing is that i am adding another element called nine and now i am seeing the capacity and length length will be nine what will be capacity 16. now i believe you understood what is happening and how slices work and how we can add as much data in slices as possible so slices starts with a capacity okay if you declare slices as colon equal to it will start with the capacity with number of elements but as soon as the capacity is breached it allocates the memory which is double the size of current capacity and keep it there till that capacity is breached if that capacity is breached it will again create a memory double the size of existing memory copy existing element and let it work till that particular size is breached and it will go like this the next increment will be 32 next increment will be 64 and so on you can check it in your code okay so this is how slices work and this is why it is preferred okay so every time the capacity is breached the memory allocation algorithm doesn't need to work for each and every additional breaches okay it increased the size double so that you know it can give you constant time performance for some time okay it's very similar to c plus plus vector how it works so i hope and believe that by now you know what are slices how it works let's now look into a function which is used to make slices and there are some options which are extremely useful let's go ahead and see and let me delete whatever i have already explained okay let's talk about a function called make now make function by default is used to create empty slices okay so in here i have created slice 5 with make function i am giving the type as int okay empty bracket as int and then length is 5 so what will happen if i go ahead and print this particular slice 5 you know in golang every variable is initialized by default with the default value in case of int it is 0 that's fine it is working okay now let's talk about length and capacity right now so what i did i have this make function i have created a slice 5 with a length of 5 and i am gonna check the length and capacity of it okay let me put a return over here then run it okay so length is 5 capacity is 5 okay so now you know how to make use of make function but we can make use of make function with something else also we can also provide in make function what is the current length and what is the capacity okay so in here i have created a slice called slice 6 again with make i am passing two parameters 5 and 10 i am printing slice 6 let's see the capacity as well as length of that particular slice 6 so you can see that length is 5 capacity is 10 so what i did is that i used make function to create a slice with length as 5 capacity as 10 why should i do this you know we do this because we want to create a slice with length as 5 but we believe that during its lifetime the length may increase to 10 and if we increase the capacity in the beginning itself if i create a slice with a 10 capacity in the beginning after the 5 element is breached it doesn't need to reallocate a memory of larger size and copy the existing element so this is useful if you know what is the maximum length your slice can grow and if you are wrong there it's no problem slices will take care of it but still if you know you can improve the performance to some extent okay so let's see one more thing where you are most likely to use slices with make so i have a slice called slice 7 okay with three elements i am creating a slice 8 
using make i am passing length of slice 7 and maximum edge 128 so if i go ahead and print that you can see that length will be 3 capacity will be 128 so if you give the maximum capacity in the beginning you save some performance okay so this is all i wanted to talk to you about slices in this video this is not the end of slices this is the first video on go language slices I'm going to create more videos on that and we are going to talk about more complex topics of slices like slicing the slices. Okay, so go ahead, practice whatever you have learned today, use some permutation and combination and then it is going to be a cakewalk for you. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. We will meet again until the next time we meet. Good day, goodbye. You take care.